Good morning and welcome to today's top 10 stories across Nigerian newspapers. Today morning, September 17, 2024, as collated by Hamid Entelu and Diane Esther Ajayi. We're starting with the lead story on page 2, Bruno Flood. Tinubu visits my degree, pledges federal government support for victims. Announces creation of disaster relief fund for flood victims. Visits flood victims at IDP camp in my degree. Says his thoughts and prayers are with burner people. My degree situation is quite frightening, Nema speaks. Some residents still trapped on the Mises. Over two news from oil and gas on page 3. Ipman reacts to NNPC selling Dangote fuel above 950 naira per litre. Says no sense in NNPCO selling Dangote fuel higher than imported ones. Says 950 naira per litre Dangote petrol may justify more importation. Still on page 3. Nigerian's inflation rate dropped to 32.15% in August, the National Bureau of Statistics says. <music> Obedient movement endorses Senator Nenadi Usman as critical national chairman. <music> Zinobo refused to sign peace accord as presidential candidate. Bishop Kuka reveals in that news is on page 11. World Trade Organization Director General Ngozi Okonjo Iweala announces bid for second term. You can read more of the news on page 8. <laughs> news from page 9 Federal government to tap from $7 trillion global halal market, says presidential aid. <laughs> news from the politics on page 3. I'll concede a do election under one condition, Igudalu says. If you want to know the condition, visit page 3 for more details. <music> Let's take this news from page 8. Telcos begins disconnection of 66 million lines over unleaked NIN SIM. <music> Sport news on page 22. Winifred Scaffer hint on replacing Augustine Iguavo. A former coach of the indomitable Lions of Cameroon is poised to become the next coach of Nigerian's Super Eagle. That will be all for now. Do visit our YouTube channel, click on the like button, subscribe and also click on the notification bell to receive more news updates from the Matrix newspaper. Do have a fabulous day.